Ruth here, and I've got another Amazon package. Um, this should be volume two of Mudazoshi. So I got volume one when it came out. So I pre-ordered volume two and three as well. So this is volume one. Um, my desk is a bit full, as you might be able to see. I'm rearranging the pins, so I'm taking them off the wall and putting them in a binder that I made up. It's a DIY kind of binder because the actual pin binders I've seen around were pretty expensive. So I just got some cardboard, so I bought A4 pieces of uh, black velvet, stuck them on, cut it out, presto. I shall give you a little preview, shall I? I've only done a couple pages. So, you know, black velvet. I feel like I did Little Mermaid. I'm not Little Mermaid, no. Mermaid Melody from uh, Dream Demo Zone. And I got some of the uh, Fruits Best and Zodiac series from Bitspin. And I got some Sailor Moon pins here. I'm going to need to move these two, actually. Because I totally forgot I had the uh, Black Lady and Mistress Nine on a different thing that was still on my wall. I might have to move these two. But yeah, see? And on the back is cardboard. But it's like, you know, cardboard from like, packaging. Cardboard envelopes or something. I was thinking there was another box, but it was a bit thick, so I'm thinking maybe I'll uh, make this into it as well. Anyway, I'm gonna put this back down actually. I'll put it back in over here. So it's a sneak preview. I like these things, these like little tear tabs. I like the uh, the ones that are perforated because it makes a nice noise better than this one. Ta da! So, inside is this, as I thought. Ooh, this is a nice art. But slightly. Is it slightly smaller? Or they're the same size? No, it's the same size. Just the way I was holding it. Oh, it doesn't have nice. We got uh, Emperor's Smile up there and a Talisman on the second one. Nice. So, here. Let's just put this in the background, shall we? There we go. Does it look nice side by side? So we got. Manzam Nanaji in the forefront of this cover. That version away in the background, kind of. So, like, very nice. So, this is the back. Rated 17 and over, by the way. <laughs> I can't remember if I read the back of the other one when I opened it. I might have, might not have. I can't remember anymore. But I'll read the back of this one, shall I? Following the trail of a dismembered corpse, Weirushin and Anaji arrive at the gates of Yi City, an old abandoned town shrouded in mist and restless spirits. A fiendish foe awaits them in the shadows, heralding a tale of heartbreak and tragedy. When the mysterious corpse's identity is finally revealed, the hunt for its killer plunges Weirushin back into the depths of the Cultivation World's politics, where he must keep his enemies close and Anaji even closer. Very nice. Um, so let's see. 
the inside cover. Looks like that. And that. Let's see. Ah, oh, it's kind of got a full spread of the cover and the back cover. And drunk scene. <laughs> um, let's see. What other brief pictures can I show? Not really one for, uh, well, I kind of prefer, you know, the, uh, uh, manga more than light novels, but I did read that the light novel has more, like, context, obviously, because manga would kind of leave some stuff out, but, um, this. For the reference to the drunk scene. <laughs> um, also, it's good for my collection, anyway. Uh, let's see, does this have a thing on the back as well? He's got a character and name guide in the back. Um, let's see. Goes over. Ryushin. First name Lee. Surname is Wei. Courtesy Ryushin. Hmm. This is, was it Chinese? I think. Was it Korean? Old Asian. <laughs> anyway, I didn't really delve into naming much. Or like meanings of stuff. Cause I know some like lately change, you know, like depending on what like the full name is. Sometimes they go over my head. And it's got supporting characters. A lot of supporting characters in this film. Um, so then it's got locations. And then got. Huh. That's handy because it tells you. Like. Like, oh, some really kind of gets confusing. <laughs> a courtesy name is given to an individual when they come of age. Traditionally, this is the age of 20 during one's crowning ceremony, but it can also be presented when an elder or teacher deems the recipient worthy. Generally, a male only tradition, there is a historical precedent for women adopting a courtesy name after marriage. Courtesy names are a tradition reserved for the upper class. It was considered disrespectful for one's peers of the same gender to dress someone by their birth name, especially in formal or written communication. The use of one's birth name was reserved for only elders, close friends, and spouses. This practice is no longer used in modern China, but it's commonly seen in Wuxia and Zanzia media. As such, many characters have more than one name. Its implement implementation in novels is irregular and is often treated malleable, malleably for the sake of storytelling. For example, 
in Grandmaster Dramatic like Cultivation, characters such as not as young as 15 years of age are referred to only by their courtesy names, while traditionally they would not have been permitted to use them until the age of 20. Hmm. I mean, that take a while to remember someone's only one name, so uh, having multiple names that wouldn't be very good for me. <laughs> like you put, there's also um, diminutives, nicknames, and ta name tags. Yep, put um, people. Very confusing. It's got a pronunciation guide at the back as well. That's useful. And it's got a glossary as well. That's handy, isn't it? Anyway, I'm getting distracted by myself. Um, Mojian Tongxu, MXTX, is a globally renowned and New York Times best-selling author whose works are often cited as the most well-known of the modern Danmei genre. Originally self-published via the novel serialization website JJWXC, her current titles include The Scum Villain Self-Saving Assistant, Grandmaster Cultivation, and Heaven's Official Blessing. Her series have received multiple adaptations and have been published in numerous languages around the world. Hmm. Yes, of uh, her three ones, my favorites are in order of uh, this one, Heaven's Official Blessing, then the uh, Scumbell and Self Saving System. I do like that one though because it's uh, like a game kind of system thing going on there. But anyway, it's great. I've got two now. The uh, third will be released um, in so many months. I forgot when. But I've already got it under my pre-order, so I'll be getting it. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. Really don't for notifications. Over and out.